Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna be going over a quick uh, ski erg tutorial. The ski erg is this uh, piece of cardio equipment. Um, we use it a lot in our CrossFit class, but also in our Pulse class. It's a great way to get your heart rate up with a being low impact and also get a full body workout. So you see how it works here. We got two handles up top. Kind of do these two cords. We're just going down to the flywheel. Uh, very similar to the uh, rowing machine. It is the same company that makes it, Concept2, and uh, same flywheel. Only difference is instead of rowing horizontally, um, we're pulling more uh, vertically. So first thing, getting started here, we've got our grips. You kind of see here, it's got a big flat part right here on the grip and the handle. We're gonna sort of put our uh, palm on that. Now it's kind of intuitive. When you grab on the handle, it's gonna feel most comfortable that way. So you probably just do that anyways, because it's kind of off to the side, it's gonna feel like your hand's slipping through. As far as stance goes, I just wanna make sure um, I'm not too close to the monitor and might hit my head or either my hands on it. Um, otherwise, anywhere on the board is, is really fine. It's not a, a perfect stance, I feel like, um, as long as you're not too close. So getting started on the form. A lot of people, when they use this gear, they take a little bit too high of starting point. They go really high, try to reach up as high as they can, and they start going, okay? What we wanna do is we wanna aim for about a little, couple, I mean, a couple inches overhead height, okay? So you don't wanna be reaching up really, really far. And when we come back down, we're just gonna extend our triceps and kinda of go to our pockets, okay? So it's gonna like this. Now, when we're using the skier, we wanna make it a full body movement, okay? We're gonna work from our core to our extremities. Just like in any really athletic uh, movement, we always wanna work from our core to our extremities to create the most power and be as efficient as possible. So when I start with a ski, I don't wanna start and keep my arms straight and just pull up my arms, okay? A lot of people will kinda of get really, really stiff and start pulling, okay? What you wanna think about is doing a crunch Bring my chest down, uh, initiate with my chest, and then bring my elbows down at the same time. So if, if you're ever done a uh, knees to elbows on the barbell, or sorry, on the uh, pull-up bar, it's gonna be similar to that. So it's gonna come like this. I'm gonna get the handles, I'm bring it down, right above, uh, a couple inches above my head. I'm gonna uh, crunch and bring the elbows down. Crunch, bring the elbows down. Crunch. And once I get to going here, I'm just gonna fall through with the triceps, okay? Some faults we're gonna see, like I said before, is staying really stiff, okay? Not using as enough uh, legs or back, and also being really tight and um, not being as relaxed, okay? So, when you're going, try to be relaxed when you're going. I can go on my toes a little bit just to get a little bit more momentum. When you start, big breath in, like so. Okay, you kind of see I'm relaxed when I'm going. Not really tight and trying to muscle it the whole time. Okay? Just like with the skier, sorry, just like with the rower or the bicycle, if you're really tight, it's gonna kinda go with your e brake on, it's gonna make the movement a lot harder and you're gonna get tired a lot faster. So I hope those tips help you guys out when you go to do your next workout on the skier. Look out for our next video on the skier that's gonna be a little bit more advanced techniques and take your ski skiing to the next level. Like always, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next one.